Hey everybody, welcome. It is 7.30 Eastern Time here on a Tuesday, and this is time for the second installment of Return to the Purple Planet. And I am one of your co-hosts, I am Mr. Michael Curtis, and joining with me is the overlord of the Purple Planet, the main, the merciless of the Purple Planet, Mr. Harley Stroh. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Good evening. How are you doing, Harley? <laughs> I'm I'm well. Yeah, no, it's, it's a beautiful evening here in colorful Colorado. No, all's, all's right with the world. How are, the, how are things where you're at? Good. Since uh, you know, it's been a it's been a day, but you know, so it's <laughs> one, of those, one of those death by a thousand cuts day. You know, oh no, it goes wrong, but like countless small things, you're just like, oh. all right, no, no. oh, but it's all good now because we're here on the purple planet. And, I'm still you know. screwed up the stat blocks. You can say it's me if you want. That's okay. I'll take it. <laughs> No, we are we are here we are here for the verbal planet. I hope you I hope you people are hanging out there. You know, thank you for joining us. If you are in the chat room, please say hi because uh, you know because it's just Harley and I hanging out here. And uh, when the chat room gets quiet, I get nervous. <laughs> so, so I have to have to double check to make sure that certain things are going according to say. So if you are there, please say hi. Um, <laughs> so uh, so before we get in, uh, Harley. Uh, what exactly is uh, for those for those people who have missed somehow missed the first episode? Uh, this is kind of a summation of Peril on the Road. There we go. <laughs> well, at least at least Elena's there. Uh, uh, what is the summation of uh, uh, Peril on the Purple Planet for those people who are just who are just uh, joining us for the first time? There, the elevator pitch. Um, so Peril on the Purple Planet is both an adventure and a sandbox setting where um, our DCC RPG. Heroes, reavers, cutthroats, warlocks have been have been cast ac across the cosmos to to uh, a, a desolate you know plateau um, on on this far flung planet you know you know beneath this dying sun and um, the, the the original goal for the PCs is to attempt to find their way back to their home world but as they're doing so there's these th these um, multiple um, armies of of, of savage bestial um you know man beasts that are that are you know battling one another across the face of the planet and so the while the pcs are trying to find their way back home they're forced to you know deal and negotiate with um with the kith you know mm -hmm. these these armies of ferocious man beasts um in 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 route to uh finding their way home and tonight we are going to dive into the story behind the kith and behind the those who they serve, the ascended masters. And thank you, Sleepy Fingers. Thank you very much for saying a hi in the chat and making sure everything is working. You know, <laughs> it's always it's always good to make sure. I mean, I have no problem hanging out and talking with Harley. You know, we do we do actually far fewer than it feels like we're used to. But you know, <laughs> but you know, we get older and we get more business. So all right, so the. Probably what probably one of the first occupants of the purple planet that people are going to run into it, are the Kith war bands. So yes, you know, as you say, so so what who are the Kith besides just like the savage, you know, visual visual forces to deal with? Yeah. Sure, sure. Well, so so if 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 you so if you were to rewind the purple planet, you know, some eons ago, you know, the 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 Kith were once like you and I, or well, like you, you know, they're these handsome statuesque you know, beautiful people. Um, but slowly, you know, as, as, as time marched on, you know, their, their, their hatred of one another and this, this, this incessant, you know, warring between the houses has slowly corrupted them um, until they, you know, they've nearly whatever it's, they're not humans, but you know, what humanity they once had before has, has all been lost, has all been sacrificed for the, for the sake of this total war against, um, against, you know, other kith. And um, and so you know, to the PCs, they're they're nearly indistinguishable from one another. You know, you see one, one, you know, you see at least from the face, you see one war band versus another war band. But to the Kith, you know, it, it's it's day and night. You know, if 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 you were leading, you know, one house and I was leading another house. You know, you would regard me as not even worthy. You know, I, I'm I'm a you know a dog worthy of slaughter, right? Like you know, they the each side has you know dehumanized the other so much that um you know any 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 violence is is acceptable you know to put down these savages and both sides are thinking that at the same time um you know i i i wrote it um you know in 2013 and um you know it's 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 a shame that things humanity has not moved on since then but um yeah so both both sides you know just 
utterly consumed by hatred so much so that their physical beings have have devolved into into you know their their if you know if you you can think of times like when you've been consumed with hatred or anger or frustration that's what the kith look like on the outside okay all right those are the kith all right yeah so uh so uh actually super finger super finger, thank you for checking in uh it actually asked the question are we getting into the various kith factions tonight i think i think we uh we will be covering that a little bit because you know uh because as, as what you said you know all the kith don't get along they are they're not you know they're not share they're not sharing fee you know the uh which is which makes sense on the purple planet where you know resources are hard to come by so you know i mean there's that's you know not only are you serving some sort of you know uh inscrutable immoral overlord but you're also just bare you know you have to eke out your existence in you know war all the time on a on a, on a wasteland so uh, well yeah so you know all the all the kith have been led to believe you know that that if they can if they can prove themselves and 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 combat them you know enough if they can if they can be you know the 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 more valiant the you know the more cruel to the other side you know there there's these these ascended masters behind them that are always like oh yes well you know do this and you can be like us and so all the all the kith are just like hungering you know you know being pressed on to you know to more and further greater extremes at, a, at any point and in, in, in their violence and their in their cruelty to to their foes and the in the in the hopes of joining their masters but that's always an empty promise no so what was um where did the idea of the kith come from when you were kind of working on the adventure were, were they inspired by anything or was it just you kind of they basically felt that fit, fit the uh, adventures ecosystem like they had like a, a niche that had to be filled and you had to come up with something for that or do you recall yeah. it, was, it was a decade ago and <laughs> no 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 that's, that's 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 fair i mean a lot of it was bouncing ideas off doug you know like you get that beautiful wraparound cover and and that's 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 you know that's that's you know writing ideas for the purple planet and then then he takes those ideas and transmogrifies them and then you know then you build off that and so you know the the, the creation of the kith you know the brothers right um is 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 really kind of born out of that gestalt of just um be a really just you know emotional bestial hatred what does that look like well you know doug has illustrated that for us Okay. All right. You know, I mean, as this, we, uh, there's a, a long history of, of, you know, warlike alien races and stuff. So I just didn't know if he had something. Yeah. About. Yeah. No. And it, yeah, just, just the idea that it's, it's so futile and pointless and that it's, you know, this, 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 this balance point could, you know, continue for another thousand years, but then the PCs arrive. Right. And then they, yeah. they have the opportunity to, to tip the scales in one way or another, or maybe even, you know, transform the, the scales altogether. Hmm. I think uh, this is something that we'll get into in a first in a, in a in a later show. But uh, you know, but what is what is kind of the the tech level, or so to say, of the kit? Because we, I think we we, we alert with the uh, the kind of what um the what technolo technologically like you know because we did allude to the fact that there are kind of relics from like you know the the far past and everything lurking around on the purple planet but you know i mean if uh, anybody who's seen the cover of the purple planet you know it's more like it appears to be more of a uh you know a barbaric you know just sharp up against against you know you know tearing flesh sort of stuff but uh right, right. well so you know um so that that's where you start to see some of the differences between the houses and mm -hmm. so you know you have um you know house Kotsist and and you know they're the more uh, disciplined and, and militant of 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 the houses warring it out on the purple planet. So they they have access to you know to some of this technology. They, you know they've managed to scrape together from the sands you know these green stone shards and the and the, and, and, and the ray lances and that sort of thing. And they can use them with more discipline in battle. Whereas you look at you know House Regantor and while their their numbers are vastly they vastly outnumber you know House Kotsist, um you know they 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 can afford to just <laughs> throw you know endless waves of kith into these into these uh you know lancing death rays um knowing that eventually they'll overwhelm them which uh which which remind me which are the ones who are basically just carrying basically moving like a giant ziggurat or a giant oh yeah regantor that, that that's sweet that's such a fun image right mm -hmm. so yeah they have this like there's there's so many of them they're able to carry this ziggurat on their back and in the top of the and that's that's not even the cool thing right because at the top right. of the ziggurat there's this billowing black smoke that's just pouring out you know coating the sky and that's that's where the the ascended masters <laughs> live up there in the clouds on top of the ziggurat on top of the army of the kith that are marching their way through you know around this 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 dying planet mm -hmm. yeah. sorry 
that's a fun one. That's uh, Doug's illustrations of that are beautiful. Yeah, it, you know, it, it it um it brought to mind when uh, when I first read it the um uh, uh the uh, the movie Three Hundred, the adaptation of the Frank Miller's one, because you know right. they're just like Xerxes. Okay. And, you know, oh they, yeah. Just, 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 his pavilion or anything, but it's like his pavilion, like a thousand fold. You know, <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Yeah, right. We don't have to justify it. Our visuals are really cheap. I can I can write that there's a million kith underneath that ziggurat. Not a problem. <laughs> we, don't, we don't have to pay for all those extras. That's, uh, that's yeah. some sort of way. Our visuals are our visuals are, are pennies on the word. You know, as opposed <laughs> to avoid uh, to evolve, uh, you know, giant uh, you know CGI or anything like that or. Okay. Thousands or anything. We can be like, yeah. yep, this yeah. is what it is. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so. so it's then like, so each, so you you have the you have the two houses, right? But um, and then then within the within that hierarchy are, are all these separate war bands. Again, each vying for supremacy over the other. Ah, and yeah, I think it was, yeah, it's just my my frustration with with blind hatred, both mm -hmm. then and now. Um, and so, but it makes for a good role play. Um, and so yeah, they're they're you know they're they're. With it, even within the houses, you know, there's these war bands vying for supremacy. They're never going to work together. You know, they're 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 working for, towards the same goal, but each wants to one up the other, or you know, accomplish something that the other couldn't, or you know, or undermine another war band. You know, during the course of of you know their campaign and that sort of thing. Uh, first, first amongst equals, right? Is right. you know, yeah, <laughs> it's like we're we all serve this master, but I'm going to serve right. him better than all of you. Because, so I get all the I get all the love, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like siblings, like literally siblings, siblings vying for the attention of a you know a dysfunctional family. Oh my know. gosh, that's that's a really sad. so. Yes, our kids are tragic heroes now. They have alcoholic parents, and <laughs> they, well, they just want to be loved. <laughs> well, it's it's funny it's funny to use the word heroes because what I was going to go to next is um in uh in the in the Purple Planet uh, uh, companion which came out you actually provided uh, rules for playing a kith there was actually the kith character class now so you could yes. you know, and I've heard stories of people you know they're they're having an ongoing DCC campaign with a with a kith whether they just you know just showed up or they came in so was was that was that kind of just was that kind of on a whim. You died and realized you had to replace them somehow and you're like oh well you know i mean yeah, what, yeah. what the origins of the of the because because like semi-official character classes like as in a, like a new character class published under like a goodman games title are, are few and far between so i'm kind of interested where this one with where this one came from yeah I, I suspect it was probably prodding from joseph like oh we gotta we have to make it possible for for players to you know to 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 make a kith pc um but it was it was it was fun in that we got to um, toy a little bit with uh, you know with the, the personality burn and just the implications of like 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 you know when when you and I were kids like charisma's the dump stat right like mm -hmm. um, but you know for for and for DCC you can imagine it the same way but um, as as we as we become better judges you think about you think about personality in a new way where like you and I could be. You and I could be sitting in a room. We could be chatting, and then uh, Brendan comes in, and he's. It's clear that he's. He doesn't see. He doesn't say a word, right? He's just. He's just pissed and upset, and then immediately the 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 mood of the room shifts, right? And we all have those people in our lives that are able to to enter the room. They haven't said a thing. They haven't done a thing, and they've they've thrown off the the whole atmosphere. And so <laughs> the idea with the kid having this personality burn was not that oh personality is a dump stat. You don't have to do anything with it. But if you burn your personality down to a a seven or a six or a five, you know, you, you, you walk into the room and everyone, everyone looks at this feral, you know, human, you know, <laughs> thing next to you. That's, you know, ready to explode at any moment. And just by, by your presence and your personality being so low that, you know, you're, you're affecting, um, you know, the, the, the role playing that's, that's, that's going on in that scene. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so that's, that's the kit. So they're, they're burning personality to, to accomplish, you know, these, 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 these you know, either like healing themselves like oh, i'm gonna muscle my way through this or you know yeah mm. it's i mean it's a nice it's a kind of a nice take on the what has become kind of now the role-playing game trope of like you know i mean because to some way kith is kind of falls into like you know on a like the barbaric 
kind of like taints, you know, and right. you know, we've gotten because of because of Gary Gygax back in Under's Arcana, you know, it's like now all barbarians are berserkers. They all have that berserker rage, right. like that's their thing, that's their defining trait and everything. Right. And you know, there are there actually is a berserker rage effect in DCC under one of the uh, under one of the crit tables and stuff. But uh, but this is a different way to kind of approach that without being like the earth, you know, but uh right. So it's an interesting way, kind of what we uh, we aspire to with Dungeon Crawl Classics is, is yeah. you know, kind of go back to go back to what people expect and then find out new and interesting ways to implement it. So well, yeah. it's it's cool. Like like is is it Tower of the Elephant, right? Like like uh, Conan walks into the bar and like the whole bar goes quiet, not because he's the cool dude in black, but because you know that he's he's these how do he's a wolf among hyenas or wolf among dogs? I think is what I Robert think that's Howard <laughs> But um, and it, it's a, it's that same thing, and so you're you're this you're this hulking, muscled you know war machine, um, who has now you know reduced his personality so badly that just by walking to it into a, into a room you you affect things or you know anyway so you you're 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 triggering other people to be furious with you you're you're you know it's yeah. Hmm. So, um, so, so, right. How, so, in the adventure as written, how many kith factions do we have? We have, uh, we have two kith factions with a number of 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 war bands beneath them. Mm. And if I recall, there's actually there are actually uh, I, I, I think there, it might just be a paragraph, but there is uh, there's a, the concept of like outcast war bands, like right. there are some kith who are actually who basically they're almost like kith ronin, you know, yes. they, they, they've fallen <laughs> out of like grace with their master, or they decided. Right. To change allegiances or something. Well, and we and we got to play with that a little bit in in Chessmen on a Purple Planet because it's it's one of those outcast bands that whatever they've they've been cut off, um, you know, from from the house for whatever reason, you know, perhaps their 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 leader, you know, performed poorly or you know whatever he betrayed the other wrong war band. They've been cast out from the house, and so you know you thought things were bad before when you there was all this infighting and you had this horrible foe over here, but now that at this point the entire planet is against this this rebel war band mm. and it's it's one of those war bands that summons the, you know the pcs back through the cosmos again in an effort to uh to try to save them so there's this one of the thing and we talked about this a little bit last time but one of the things you want to play with with the setting is a potential the, the possibility if 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 players want to take it up of their pcs you know becoming becoming masters of their own war band of 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 aiding this 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 roving desperate you know um you know forsaken you know you know war band like coming to their aid and perhaps you know raising them up and and mm. you know again you know playing with the scales of power and 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 see what can become of all that right this is this is the perfect this is the perfect adventure to run for you know that one person in your gaming group who has like paul moore deep you know aspirations you know and just you know <laughs> wants wants it wants to unite the tribes into it become like the new master right exactly so. exactly 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 yeah and and then you know and and you know and, and in the process you know there's enough cool resources you know strewn around this planet like maybe you want to stay here a little longer maybe you need to find a way um you know to make it possible to, to uncover those green stone shards or you know collect that that plasma sword that your warrior has been hungering after uh but you know but got destroyed in the last battle when it was when it was smashed up against the struck leon or something and right. so there's the you know, there's we try to offer you know reasons for for player characters to stick around and um and especially if they're if they're clever if they're creative um if they if they have the ambition right of uh of of conquering the the purple planet that potential exists right well uh sleepy fingers asked a question early so he's he's been kind enough to, to he or she has been kind of hang around um uh since we mentioned chessman on the purple planet do you recall yes. what level the chessman on the purple planet was written for uh that's fourth Okay, all right. So there's there's the answer to your question. <laughs> so, so fourth level on there. All right. Um. So we've we've kind of we've kind of dealt with the with the minions. Now it's time to deal with the ascended masters. You know, I mean, because you because the all of this barbarism has to be under the kind of the you know the the people on the ziggurat being carried around or you know what have you. So uh, so you are welcome, sleepy fingers. Right. Um. So let us talk about the ascended masters and uh, and what we what we have you know on paper with them you know, because against against we have kind of we've kind of alluded to the fact that they are in some cases 
if not maybe immortal or at least very long lived or something. They were <laughs> whereas the whereas the Kith whereas where where civilization was going along and then civilization went really bad. Yes. The Kith were on the downward slope, but right. the, the Ascended Masters are kind of sailing along right now. You know, right, they're, right. They're the evil well, can evil jump. You know, <laughs> in the air right now. You know, we don't know where they don't know where they're going to land, and they're just right. So yeah, that level as much as possible. I think that's a, a good metaphor, hopefully, for them. You know. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, so if if you go back to the source texts like Almuric and Burroughs, right? There's 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 this trope that you know, despite there's these this this bestial savage world with where, where all the where all the men are are hulking and violent and terrifying, you know, for some reason there's this this excuse, you know back in 1965 or whenever the story was written that there's somehow there's this this there's this beautiful you know venusian queen <laughs> you know it's like wait 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 this makes no sense and so i i, I didn't want to discard that trope altogether because it's so integral to the idea of swords and planets and it's like all right you're like you know this it's it's it shows up and you know and all the source text is there and so so the the way we got there was by the ascended masters while the while the kith were like uh, that was a great description you know they're they're hurtling down from civilization into barbarism um the ascended masters have as, have essentially frozen their descent um but they've the cool thing is that, that each of them has done it in their own unique way like i think back to like when you and i were playing you know add and like all all the demon lords and all the devil lords were like unique right like like orcus was nothing like osmodius and so similarly you know the way that they've managed to to freeze their descent into into this bestial dehumanized you know ugliness um the 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 the, the ascended masters have 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 frozen that each by through through a different technique um and so some are, are using technology some are using high sorcery some are are you know there's there's for every every you know any judge introducing a new ascended master into um in, into the plateau on the top of the purple planet you know the, the first thing they should do is like you know come up with like all right how how is how is this how is this master you know still alive or you know retaining some sort of like you know their 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 souls are dead you know they're almost emotionless and and horrific but you know they're still possibly beautiful on the outside or at least alluring and, and attractive to the eye right and so um I can't even remember the original question, but I was just really excited about how, like, like there's so much potential for for judges to bring a you know a new house or new war bands up you know to the plateau and like, well, how is this ascended master doing it? How is this ascended master unique from all the others? Right, right, and we have and and since we have two Kith factions which are described in Purple Planet, we have we have two ascended masters as well. I mean, I think yeah well but there's actually a bunch so like e even within like if you go into if you check out the regantor there's um there's like there's like seven ascended masters but they're all asleep at various times and they're almost like goldfish like they're waking up the next day well, i mean you have, you have the the two chief ones like Heon and yale but um but in and among that there's you know there's there's the there's the royal family that, that wakes up and is is amazed like what is what has happened to our world and mm -hmm. then they'll wake up the next day and be amazed what has happened to our world um and then yeah and then and and it's not caught because you know you have uh you know they're using you know like cybernetics and the different bodies and they're attaching you know heads and jars to you know to to different bodies and possibly mistaken pcs for well you're supposed to be my body let's let's remove your head and now all right now we're going ready to go on yeah, but they're all using they're all using different techniques. They've all found different ways to escape that descent into barbarism, or at least you know the descent into um, yeah the the the, the, right. the ugliness that the beastmen the, the, mm -hmm. sorry and and because, that that and because and because of that, I mean, it leaves you you have kind of like this the central role, but the judge has such wide latitude in order to like in order how they can do that. You know, like you could have like you know, like I said, like the head in the jar, or I believe uh, I mean, we, uh, I know Matt we, uh, Matt has provided some art, and hopefully Elena, I, I'm sure Elena has been showing up. But you have you know on Doug's part, this well, looks like a robot at one point. And, you know, there's, yes. there's, there's you know there's like a, a woman who is kind of you know bathed in eldritch eldritch energy or something. But, right, you know, right, right, right. 
but you could, I mean, you could, you could go, you know, far and above that. You could, have, like, I'm, I'm thinking of like the, um, uh, the, the Lovecraft story, Cool Air, about the, the, the guy who was basically alive, but he had to, he couldn't stay, like, uh, he had couldn't out leave his room if the temperature, you know, was, was, it had to be like a certain thing, you know. So that, that's like a perfect extended master type thing. It's like, you know, I mean, he's alive, but he's, he's refrigerator man, you know. <laughs> or, right, you know right, or, right, right, right. Yeah, and they and they're all they're all relying on on these you know barbaric kith you know to 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 make their existence possible, right? To provide the resources, the green stone shards, you know, to to power whatever magic or or technology or whatever you know horrific deals they've they've struck. You know, they're all you know relying on these this these hordes of 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 kith to you know to make all that possible. And and you know what happens. I mean if if, if anything every James Bond has, film has ever taught us, you know what happens when like the 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 mastermind has to rely on like a horde of basically <laughs> in order to keep his power. You know, it's <laughs> which is you know which is one of the cases one of the things that can happen in Parallel of the Purple Planet. I mean, you know yeah. uh, I mean the uh but if the if the party is st sticky and stealthy they might actually be able to like you know undermine a, a ascended masters you know uh his, their uh their control or they could just rally a, a war band of kith of their own and you know and next thing you know they're they're now a power player uh, right it, right they start uh, to peel uh, off yeah and then uh, or like you know or in, in chestnut not to give too much away like you know go back in time and transform what the the future of the the purple planet might be so yeah. I don't know. There, there's a, there's a lot of room for for judges to lean into the to the tropes that they like, the tropes that they really want to explore. Um, yeah. You know, because yeah, there's there's a lot that you can hang off of 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 foes that have you know they're so consumed by hatred they've become beasts. I mean that's right. right. Yeah. That, that that also that that is one one of the great thing about having villains that are you know they're they're interesting but also they're immoral you know that it it, it removes any sort of touchy uh you know moral questions of your own as you're you now you're the heroes going on it's like well he's a real jackass you know, <laughs> you know nobody's gonna be weeping if I get rid of him you know yeah I mean, yeah there's 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 no good guys um I think I think the closest we came to it was um. The daughter of Heian, you know, in the, in the city of smoke, that's atop that ziggurat you were talking, that smoking ziggurat, you know, um, she's she's frozen in time, so she's utterly clueless, you know, what's going to happen to her. She's she's like any daughter, right? She's like she's like a a, a fifteen year old kid, any daughter or son, you know, wanting to get away from their parents. But if ever you know she steps off that ziggurat, if the PCs, all right, players, close your ears. Um, if the PCs free her, right, from, 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 you know, her tyrannical father, you know, she runs out into freedom on the purple planet and just slides and, you know, dissolves into dust, you know, because the only thing that was keeping her alive was, you know, her father's memory of her, you know, atop this smoking ziggurat. And so wow. that's, that's the closest we have to a good character. Yeah. But, uh, interesting, interesting stuff. Interesting yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um. No, I think you know. I think you did. You did an amazing job. But there's just so many levels on this adventure that you can deal with, and it's uh, you know, as we've always kind of pride, you know, prided ourselves on is um, we we don't write normal you know D and D modules. I mean, you know, I I, I do see I do see a lot of um, comparisons between like Purple Planet and Dark Sun, uh, sure. but. And I, I think there, you know, there is some level because, you know, we come out of that. But I think I think it also might be along like Dark Sun is actually drawing also from a lot of the same source material that Purple Planet Absolutely. comes from. So, Absolutely. you know, you're you're you're, you're going to have some similarities there. So. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think I think, you know, it's 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 a, it's a lot of what DCC does. Right. It's like, you know, we're at least in the in the in the in the DCC RPG era. You know, we, we stopped trying to, you know, imitate the the TSR modules we love so much. And instead, you know went back to what inspired those TSR modules. And so, yeah, the same things that, you know, inspired Dark Sun also certainly inspired Purple Planet. And um, and I, I suspect you could, and, you know, and some of the tropes that Dark Sun used, you know, were, were, were really powerful, you know, like you know, the idea that you're burning up the environment to cast your spells. That's, that's a, that's a fun thing to play with. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, 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 you know, I, I know there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of folks that are doing, DCC Dark Sun, you know, conversions. I think Claytonian did one. So you could you could do a mix and mash and have mm -hmm. your interplanetary, you know, swords plus, you know, the dragon lords from Dark Sun. You know? <laughs> I mean, there's there's a there's a lot of potential for for really creating the 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 world that you want to run in. Right. And actually, actually, that's, that's something we're touching upon is that, you know, because uh, Purple Planet is it's not just 
it's not just D and D in space or whatever. It's like a, you right. know, it's like you know, you. It's, it's literally uh, it's a different environment. So there's no, we don't have you know, like Dark Sun had like cannibalistic halflings and you know, like all the rest of that stuff. And we you you don't have that in, in Purple Planet. I mean, right. Purple Planet is isn't of itself its own alien world. So you know, so I mean, um, but you know, uh, but again, kind of like with Langmar, there's nothing that says prohibitively that there can't be elves. You know, I mean, well, no, well. <laughs> Sorry. No, you you can introduce all the all the all the elves and dwarves and and, and halflings you want, but um, yeah, there there is something I think that's really powerful of of, of giving yourself a, a fresh new world, you know, and and, and this, which harkens back a lot to you know why DCC RPG does 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 what race species by as class right is because when when in those source texts there's just one elf in the party mm-hmm. and that elf has these qualities and there's we i get to adventure with just one dwarf and that dwarf has these qualities and they're my buddies and and here we go and then when you when you actually but then that dissolves right when you're like well there's one elf here and there's 500 elves behind him why are they all behaving the same way but um right. but when you when you cast them across the cosmos like a moorcock adventure or story you know where it's really just I got Dwarfy the Dwarf here and my buddy the Elf, and they are literally the only dwarves and elves you're going to see for the next 500 miles. And maybe there's one frozen in in ice at the very bottom of the planet, but we don't know. And and anyways, and so maybe that's why Elf came along, right? He's gonna he's gonna unfreeze, you know, his 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 princess spouse. Who knows? But um, by 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 making a whole new world, um you you make you know, all of a sudden that dwarf is really special and that elf is really special because they're the only ones there. Right, right. You know, and that yeah, that holds true to a lot of what you know the the roots of DCC RPG all those years ago. Once again, tune in for Purple Planet, but actually pick up some you know backdoor game design advice dropped on <laughs> by Harley Stroh and myself. So there you go. So, uh, so okay, so it is uh, it is the eight o'clock hour. So we have we have spent thirty minutes on the Purple Planet. Is at what shall be our want? For going forward in the future, yeah. so uh, so this is kind of the game that gave everybody the overview of who the Kith, who the Ascended Masters are, a little teaser about what they may encounter in the Purple Planet. So um, we will be back next month. Uh, we're going to be two of these, two of these a month. Uh, so we, we haven't quite picked out what the next what the next date is, uh, but it will be in November. And uh, I think I think this show will will talk the next show will talk about who else. Or what else you might encounter on the purple planet while you're dodging Kith warbands and trying to figure out ways to do- topple the Sun Masters. So, all right. Uh, any final words for the people at home, Harley? Or no, I just I, I think I think Sleepy Fingers is brilliant. Shaved bears with a bunch of tattoos. I'm going to steal that for the because uh, shaved bears are horrifying. <laughs> Those are really <laughs> scary. Thanks, Sleepy. All right, yoink. Anyhow, yeah, yeah. No, thank you all for for watching. I appreciate you guys being here, and let's yeah, see you all yep. next time. And uh, if you if you're tuning in this and you haven't realized it, the uh, first episode is now up on YouTube, and this one will be up there shortly. So if you miss it out on Twitch, uh, you're probably watching this on YouTube. So thanks for finding us. So uh, and we'll be back in a couple of weeks with yet another installment. So until then, stay purple, everybody. Good night. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>